All right, let's go and take a look at another related rates question. So in the first video, I showed kind of an approach, breaking it down into steps, how to kind of read the problem and get the information you need from it. So let me read this to make sure that it's clear, you know, what, the, what this is saying. It says, a tree is 50 meters north of an intersection. A bus travels westbound at 30 meters per second. At how many meters per second is the bus moving away from the tree three seconds after it passes through the intersection? So some of it could have possibly been worded better there, but um, you know, in order to really get an idea of what's going on here, I think the first thing you got to do is draw a picture. Okay, um, you know, for me that makes it a lot easier. So we have an intersection basically going on here. Okay, we have a, you know a road going one way, a road going another way, and it says that there's a tree 50 meters north of the intersection. So right here, let's say there's the tree, and it's 50 meters. You know, north of the intersection. Okay, and it tells us that a bus is traveling westbound. So that means you know westbound would be to the left. It's got to be going on this horizontal line right here to the left at a speed of 30 meters per second. Okay, so um, in terms of those steps, you know, I, I broke down. So I said step one was to uh, ID the variables. You know, identify, identify the variables. Now. When we're looking at identifying the variables here, we have to look to see, I think, uh, what's going on. Because we have, you know, okay, we're, we're going to specifically work with this three seconds after the bus has passed through the intersection. So the bus is traveling westbound. So three seconds after it passes through, let's just say it happens to be right here. Here's the bus. And it, it you know, talks about at the end here, what is the, at how many meters per second is the bus moving away from the tree? Well, so we're talking about the distance between the bus and the tree. So we have this factoring in here as well. So you'll notice here what I have going on here is a triangle. Okay, and I talked about variables are things that change. So in this triangle, I look as this bus moves to the left, and I'm just looking at this triangle right here. This side of the triangle right here, okay, changes as the bus moves to the left, and the distance between the bus and the tree also changes. So let me just go ahead and assign variables to these. You can assign whatever you want. I'll call this down here A and this right here B. Okay, so that's going to be my variables. My variables are going to be A and B. All right, <clears throat> can't remember for sure the order I put the steps in here. It's not really vital the order as long as you do all the steps. So, but a, a very important step, and I think I had this as step two, was to um, relate your variables with an equation. So you have to use an equation to relate your variables. Okay, so in this case, I got a right triangle. Okay, I didn't say the they cross the, the intersections at a right angle, but I was kind of implying that, that that's a right angle. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem here, um, and the Pythagorean theorem would say that you know it's, uh, it's you know a squared plus b squared c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. But in this case, we have a and 50 are two sides that are not the hypotenuse. B is the hypotenuse, so it would be a squared plus 50 squared is equal to b squared. Okay, so we've got our uh, variables related. Step three, you got to figure out what is given to you in this problem right here. Okay, so this portion right here, a bus travels westbound at 30 meters per second. That is the information that's given, so we got to think, gosh, how are we going to take that, translate that into our related rates, you know, um, stuff that we do here. So think about it. As the bus travels 30 meters per second, you know, there's definitely some stuff that's happening, but that 30 meters per second, as this bus moves left at a rate of 30 meters per second, this side length A increases at a rate of 30 meters per second. So therefore, in this situation right here, dA over dt would be equal to 30. That's what it's given me. Again, as the bus is moving westbound at a speed of 30 meters per second, this side length A increases at a rate of 30 meters per second. So dA over dt represents how fast A is changing, and changing at a rate of 30 meters per second. Okay? And we also, you know, need to figure out what do we, what do we want to find? Okay, what are we asked to find in this problem? And it says here, at how many meters per second is the bus moving away from the tree. So, you know, in terms of what it's, it's, when it's saying at how many meters per second, that's saying the rate, how fast 
is the bus moving away from the tree. Well, the distance between the bus and the tree is this distance b, so we want to know how fast is that changing. So we want to know dv over dt. And we specifically want to know it at um, t equals 3. Because it says, you know, how many um, meters per second is the bus moving away from the tree three seconds after it passes through. So when I say t equals 3, I'm saying time zero, I guess, would be when the moment it hits the intersection, and any time after that would be, you know, kind of a positive value of time. But we want to find it three seconds after it passes through the intersection. So we've got everything we need. So now what we need to do is we need to, you know, be able to find, have an equation of this dA over dt and dB over dt. And what we're going to get that from is by taking the derivative of this. So I mentioned in the you know, prior video, you just start doing your derivative like normal. So the derivative of a squared would just be 2a. All right? So it would be 2a. But then whenever you take the derivative of any variable, it's going to be times d, whatever that variable is, over dt. So it's dA over dt. The reason for that is because we're saying that, you know, a or b in this case are their own functions of time. So the reason is because of the chain rule. Don't get too hung up on that, but that is the reason why we are multiplying by dA over dt. The derivative of 50 squared, that's just a constant, so the derivative of a constant is zero, so that's nothing. And over here, the derivative is going to be 2b uh, dB over dt. So, now what we want to do is we want to take all our given information and then plug it in, okay? And uh, then hopefully we'll you know, figure out what dB over dt is, what we want to find. So, first off, First thing I'm looking at, I've got a. You know, what is a equal to in this problem? I don't know. Okay? Um, well, let's go back here. a is this side length right here. Let's think. Three seconds after the, the bus passes through the intersection, okay, what would a equal? So if it's going 30 meters per second, and it's gone that for three seconds past the intersection, well, at that time, a would be equal to 90 meters. Okay? So a is going to be 90. So we have two times 90. dA over dt we found here was 30. And then b. Okay, we've got to figure out what is b going to be equal to. So at the moment, you know, we've, we've already found three seconds when the, after the bus passed through the intersection, a is equal to 90. Well, this side length over here, the triangle's constant, it's 50. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what b is equal to. b is the hypotenuse. It's going to be b squared is equal to, and I know I'm kind of squeezing this in right here, um, you know, 90 squared plus 50 squared. Since again, three seconds after it passes through the intersection, this side length is 90, this side length is always 50. So if I can just work this out, so let's see, I'm using my calculator, so 90 squared plus 50 squared is equal to 10,600. And then I take the square root of that. And I end up getting b is equal to 102.956. You know, whenever I take the square root, I should put plus or minus, but I knew since I'm dealing with triangles, you know, it's a side length of a triangle, so that's going to be a positive value. So at the time, three seconds after the bus passes to the intersection, b is equal to 102.956. Notice I went to three decimal places. You have to always do that on the AP test. Go to at least three decimal places. So um, I'm going to put that in for b. 2.956. So my goal is to find dB over dt, so all I have to do right now is I have to divide and solve this, so it's going to be, you know, let me just work this out in the calculator real quick. You can do the same, I'm sure. And I ended up getting that dB over dt, when I divided everything and multiplied it out, is 26.2247. So I could either leave that as 26.224 or 26.225, either way. Um, that's dB over dt. Now if they ask for units, the, you know, that's how fast B is changing. It actually asks you at how many meters per second. It tells you what the units are going to be. So this is actually in meters per second right here. So there's a pretty fun related rates problem.